Hello, Ted. Hey, how are you, man? I can't hear you very well. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I better put on speaker. Hey. Now I, now I can. Thank you very much. Excellent. We got the Space Ace on the phone, Ace Frilly. He's got two New York area shows this weekend, Friday night. Uh, September 15th, back at the Chance in Poughkeepsie, and then on Saturday night, the 16th at BB King's. Good to be chatting with you again, Ace. This is uh, very cool. You're coming back to Poughkeepsie. You know, last year you had quite a scare when you had to cancel when you had that uh, exhaustion issue. And yeah, you... they gave me an angiogram. They did. They thought something was wrong with my heart, but, you know, the doctor who was about 45 years old said, Jesus, Ace, I wish my angiogram was as good as yours. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's awesome. He said, he said you have 100% no blockage. Well, that's good. And then we got you rescheduled for the chance. You played about the same time last year, sold out show in Poughkeepsie. And uh -huh. always, always good to see you there, Ace. Your band is awesome. I've been friends for a while with the great Richie Scarlet, of course. It's the emperor of rock and roll. That's right, <laughs> man. What is it, Richie the best, Ace, I tell you? Well, we've been friends forever, so yeah. yeah. Uh, it's good to have him on, on. It's good to have him next to me on stage. You know, we're, we're a dynamic duo. You really are. I remember trying to, as a young kid underage, trying to get into the Briar Patch in Carmel to see you and Richie performing. <laughs> <laughs> the Briar Patch. That, that goes back a ways, right? Bad. You got Richie Scarlet on guitar with you. You got uh, Chris Wise on bass and Scott Coogan on drums. Just a, a great band. And this weekend, on Friday night, at the chance, you got Four by Fate opening the show. That's uh, your ex-bandmates in Frilly's Comet. Todd Howarth and John Regan are in there. A lot of rumors of a Comet sighting, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, they're going to get up and play a couple of songs with us. Oh, that is so cool. You, you know the fans are going to love that. I mean, people have been clamoring for that for years. Absolutely. Oh, that's great. We'll see you play together and do a little reunion there on stage on Friday. And that's only happening at the chance, right? Yeah, originally they were going to open up more shows, but it didn't work out. So, uh, But I think tomorrow night's going to be a special night. You know, it's the first time I've played on stage with John and Todd in a very long time. You know, and then, of course, on the 20th, I'm getting together with Gene Simmons. Yeah, let's talk in about that. Minneapolis, St. Paul, for a benefit concert, you know, for the hurricane victims of Harvey. Yeah, that's a great thing. It's the Children Matter Benefit, Hurricane Harvey. This is happening September 20th in St. Paul, Minnesota. Now, how did you hook up with Gene for this? Did Gene reach out to you? You know, it's funny. Everybody asks me these complicated questions about, like, how did it happen? <laughs> I called him on his cell phone, and I said, Gene, I want to do it. Oh, wow. Said, great. <laughs> oh. I, he gave me the phone number of his, his the contact. Yep. I gave it to my assistant, John Ostrowski, and... Uh, Put the, they put it together, you know. It's going to be a ball. Now, that's exciting. So so you're reuniting with Gene for that special uh, Hurricane Harvey benefit. You're reunited with Paul on the Origins Volume 1 covers album you did last year. You did an awesome cover, a song called Fire and Water, an old free tune. How was it reconnecting with Paul last year on that album? It was fantastic. I was really shocked when he accepted the invitation to do the video yeah. as well. Right. You know, which, which turned out really well and looked great. And, you know, uh, me and Gene wrote two songs on my new upcoming studio record, and I already got him to commit to sing on at least one and play bass on one of the two songs. When can we expect the new album? Is that going to be Origins Volume 2? No, Origins Volume 2 is going to be... After this album. Okay. This album is going to be a studio album, which is the follow-up to Space Invader. Oh, great. When, when can we see this? When can we see this all-original new album coming? Well, the, the record company, I'm, I'm slotted to have it finished by the end of the year. Okay. So I'm assuming a, a spring release. Excellent. Spring of 2018 for a, a new studio album from Ace. And, okay, so we've got a few pieces of the puzzle together. You're reunited with Paul. You're reuniting with Gene. When are you going back out with Kiss? Everybody asks me that. It's got to happen. You got to ask Paul and Gene that. The Paul's in that court, you know? Well, well Ace, let's... I haven't... You know, when, when, when the promoters in the United States offer Paul and Gene enough money to get me back on on the crew, I'll be I'll be there. Well, you know, Ace, the, the KISS numbers, attendance numbers these days, let's be honest, not what they once were. 
especially when you had reunited with with the guys. I mean, don't you think bringing you back in would bring up those attendance numbers and and we'll be packing the arenas again? Well, uh, I'm sure it would. You know, yeah. you have to realize that for the last several years, every time Kiss headlined in in, in the U.S., they had a co-headliner. Yeah, right. You know, rather, rather it was, you know, well, you know the names of the bands. I, I can't read <laughs> Yep. But who knows? Maybe it'll happen down yeah. the road. But uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction in 2014. By the way, we're speaking with Ace Freely, the Space Ace. How was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction for you? Was that a special night? Did you enjoy it? It was a very special night. I bumped into a lot of old friends. Uh, you know, the only bummer is, uh, you know, Paul and Gene uh, opted not. Uh, they declined to perform with me and Peter. Yeah, that was so a shame. we missed something that night. But other than that, you know, I was supposed to perform uh, at the end of the night with with Bruce Springsteen. We we were supposed to do uh, a song, uh, "Highway to Hell." Oh wow! And and they had to. I had my guitar under the table. Yeah. And they, and they had to cut it because of uh, the show went way over. Oh time. yeah, it, I knew it did go way. Oh, how cool would that have been though? You and Bruce up there doing Highway to Hell. I mean. <laughs> Jeez. It would have been fantastic if it, if it, if it happened, but yeah. unfortunately, you know, we'll have to wait for another time for that. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Ace, favorite KISS tour for you ever? Oh, I don't know. They were all a lot of fun, and they were all a big blur, you know? I was drunk, <laughs> and I was yeah. on drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you, but you, I had a lot of fun, I can tell you that right now, but, you know... This September, I'm celebrating 11 years sober, so uh, congrats. I'm having just as much, if not more, fun now. Congrats, Ace. That's awesome, 11 years. That's very cool. Feels great. I just I just dropped 20 pounds, you know, on a new diet with you know, no carbohydrates. And, uh, nice. I'm feeling like a million bucks. That's great, and you're still sounding great. Uh, your band's awesome. It's always good to see you out doing your thing. Ace Freely is playing The Chance tomorrow night, and it's going to feature that little uh, reunion of Freely's Comet. They're going to get up and play a few songs together, so you're going to want to be there tomorrow night, uh, Friday night, September 15th, The Chance, and then Saturday you could check out the show at BB Kings in New York City. And for ticket information on The Chance Show, you can call 845-471-1966 and ticketweb.com. You can get tickets, but Ace, looking forward to it. Uh, I'll be at the Chance Show, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for spending time with us, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Fantastic. Come backstage and say hello. Well, you know, it's going to be a very special evening. Certainly will. Thanks a lot, Ace. Have a great night, man. You're welcome. Bye-bye.